Hey everyone, Merix here, bringing you another video. This one is going to be on Veer, the Lion. So Veer is the weekend contest poster. Um, it's going to be Faction Feud, according to what we have in the game. He's a trial right now, so you all are getting to play him. I have him at 5-star gold on my roster. He is a modern chaotic powerhouse. He has the modern era link. Gems do 5% more damage. He has the standard gear, the lion gear. Training ability, 26k ability is leech gems do 125% more damage. Green gems do 25% more damage. This seems like it's probably specifically targeted towards Ezekiel, although I don't really love it on him because he doesn't make a lot of leech gems and it doesn't make the leech gem itself um, bigger. It makes the gem underneath it hit harder. Um, tried it on actually um, Hurricane... Elms, it was quite good on him. Uh, but I don't think the trainer is quite a, maybe as awesome as it sounds, but it's not bad. Uh, I liked it on Hurricane. Uh, shout out to Zandel for suggesting that. Also, I'm doing this preview live on Twitch for ch a change, something different. Um, you're going to see, I'm going to have Titan plate on for this first build. I'll take it off and use a different plate. For the last build, three builds for you guys. He's pretty straightforward. I do have a set of Fury 2 and one set of regular Fury. Um, Titan Plate is 200% uh, gem damage, so really only has 100%, which is not that much. 100% gem damage is not that much. So don't get sidetracked by the Fury 2 and go all like, but Merrick's, I can't ever get that. That's fine. Uh, it's not a good strap. I only have 100% total gem damage, so there's that. Um, move damage metal, 133% tier 4 red. Uh, so that's about all you need to know there. First move set. Um, this is kind of a slower uh, move set. Uh, hits pretty hard. I could see it being good for boss battle, for example. You, um, yeah, that's probably about it. Million dollar arm, 10 MP finisher, deal 232k damage, make 30 blast gems into purple, pin the opponent. Cervical clutch, 7 MP purple, um, it's a red submission, so you choose reds, do 143k damage for three turns, and shoulder block, 4 MP juggernaut gem move, deal 52k damage, choose three gems, they'll deal 108k on every tick, except the final one. On the final one, they're going to make nine random gems into blast gems. That's why we have the titan plate, to buff the gems. Trainers, you can see them here, JBL, because we're making a bunch of blast gems. Santa Hogan, because for Feud, you do need 7 MP to get this started. Um, you could also potentially um, do double MP trainer and lose 100% gem damage on all of those blast gems we're going to have. So, not recommended. I would only use this in Feud if you have 17k Santa. If not, there's better builds to run, which we will show you later. Okay, let's take a look. We're going to go against Ivar. My favorite punching bag on the road. And see how this goes. It is uh, quite a few ticks on the Juggernaut gem. So it's a little bit slower maybe than you're used to. Like I said, I see this more as a boss battle type build. But it can hit fairly hard, so it's worth showing. Juggernaut gems out. Sub a dub dub. Yeah, let's make some row breaks. Do some things. That works not. Let's yeah, let's go here. Let's do that. Oh, Ivar filled up his move. Let's hope he doesn't take out my Juggernaut gem. Just in case. Let's put some more countdowns down. Not nah, Juggernauts down, not countdowns. And then it's two swipes. Each one is going to do some good damage now because I have a bunch of those countdowns. They're Juggernauts out when it um when it's my turn. 100k per. Pin is great, actually. It speeds it up. 
Now we're going to get all of these blast gems. And you can see um, pretty beefy like on the reds because of JBL and stuff. Not too shabby. And now let's make them all purple. Not too bad. All of his remaining life. A little bit slower. Like I said, I see that more as a boss battle type thing. Okay. Let's go to the next build set. In this one, we're going to change plates and I'm going to put a braid plate on. I think this is pretty much probably the standard build most people will run with him. Um, also be pretty solid in boss battle. Bringing the sidewalk slam in, the leaping elbow drop in, and then we got the um, standing hip drop. That one's 8 MP, red move, deal 123k damage, and make 25 X break gems into yellows. Um, then we got the Leaping Elbow Drop, 7 MP, deal 188k damage, choose a 5 by one area to swap into reds. And the Sidewalk Slam, another 7 MP yellow, deal 198k damage, and choose a 6 by one area to make into Snowfall. Everything below it turns into X-Breaks. Um, let me put the Bianca's Braid plate on here, before I forget. Again, it, not my Bianca's Braid plate, by the way. I just have this for the preview, I haven't been lucky enough to get one of those yet. Hopefully soon, but not yet. All right. Entourage. We're going to put Showboat Cena in here. If uh, Again, this is a trainer that I think is great. If you haven't taken him up yet, you should. It's going to give us 45% yellow gem damage and two yellow MP. We're going to use Kofi for more yellow MP as well. So both moves will start turn one in feud. And then Cena's buffing it on top of it, which is quite nice. I'm going to use X-Pac um, because that area, if you can't match another one um, to get the, the standing hip drop to load, um, X-Pac will give you 6 MP on a 5 match. So we start with 2 in Feud, so that's why we want him. Um, that way you get loaded. Since there's no more matchy match perks. And then we're going to go with almost because we're making so many X breaks. That's 100% more gem damage. And if you didn't know, let me read the description on the Bianca's skill plate to the Bianca's braid. Because uh, that does more damage when we make X break gems, which we're going to do. Whenever you make six or more X break gems, increase all your gem damage by 100% for two turns. This might be used to truck. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, this should hit pretty hard. This I haven't tried with the braid yet. Uh, so I'm interested to see how much more damage I do with the braid. Pretty straightforward. Drop your snowfalls down. Choose an area. Oop. Choose an area. Hopefully don't cascade. Then you turn them all yellow, since we have Cena on there to buff the yellows. Now we can blow the board up. 35k on a purple, 32 um, on a yellow, 41 on a red. One point eight million. That's a little bit harder than I was hitting without the braid plate, but that's about right. Um, so it's gonna recycle. Like I said, I think that's the build set most people are probably gonna use. 
Um, I don't think it's going to blow anyone away damage-wise, necessarily. Again, another build you could potentially use for boss battle. Um, so, solid, but he is a chaotic powerhouse, which for me um, is kind of dominated by Seth, KO, even Otis. Um, and then you get um, other powerhouses like Ray, Zombie Ray, uh, Hall of Fame Undertaker at Aggressive. So... That's more, I think, where the, the the thing with Veer is. So he's very solid, very good, and he's going to have some uses. This last one is something I did just for fun. Uh, it's a funky tricolor, so you can see the last move set. His six-star move is a stun. It's not loaded on the portal yet, so I can't tell you what that, how many turns it goes to or whatever. Uh, but potentially, I see using the sub into the choose three rows to destroy um, with the skip turn that could potentially be pretty interesting as long as the skip goes to at least two turns um, and depending on the charge um, but that's likely what I would do sub stun um, and the choose three rows to destroy uh, or you could possibly do a some kind of version with the juggernaut gem in the stun because they're both purple as well maybe no sub um, and the choose three rows to destroy possibly I don't know but uh, this last move set, I'm going to go tricolor, so you can see the diving elbow drop. It is low charge at 8 MP to destroy three rows, which is nice. And then we're going to do the sub. And we're going to do the snowfall gem move right here. So diving elbow drops the move you haven't seen. 255k, choose three rows to destroy. And instead of Cena, we're going to use Woods. And instead of X-Pac, we're going to use 17k Santa. Recycle's a little bit harder on this. Um, because you, you know, you're not changing anything to a specific color here. But it, I just thought it was kind of fun, so I'm going to run it. Since there's almost nothing else to do with him. He's pretty straightforward. A couple movesets, that's it. All right. And then after this, we'll take a look at my roster and kind of see where I would slot him in. Like I said, his biggest strong suit will probably be on if there's a yellow uh, boss battle buff, yellow gem, or if there's an X break one. Um, that was, seems like it would be his best utility. So you just want to start with the sub to load the red. I love that you can make five matches on subs now. Rather nice. And I'm just going to, you know, play risky and only put one sub jeb down. Why not? Let's do maximum destruction. Good old five match for Ivar. Okay, you might be wondering how you're going to set this off. Very similar to um, Striker Bianca, though. If you put this on the top, um, you're fine. And let's do... yeah, we'll do this. It essentially goes on the stack. Uh, and it destroys the top row first, then this row. So you blow the whole board up with those X breaks. So you can see very similar to the first one. Um, we did recycle it this time. Um, so I don't know. It's kind of interesting. And if you feel like doing something funky with tricolor and using two MP trainers, uh, you can do that too. So that's what I got for you for Veer. Three builds. Um, solid. He's strong. Decent for boss battle. However, powerhouse is loaded. And we've had um, a lot of good ones lately. So let's go by class here. If I were to get him, where would I slot him on my roster? So I like Seth more. Um, I think I definitely like Stay Puff more. This is not my Stay Puff, though. Uh, I like Ray more. I like Taker more. I like KO more. 
Uh, all of those were people I would take to, let's say, six star before Veer. This is pending his stun, too. I haven't seen that. Keep that in mind. But generally, that's not my favorite play style. I do think he's um, maybe going to care and compare. Like, I probably would level him ahead of Sika, except he's chaotic and Sika isn't, so maybe not. Um, it really depends on what you're going for with your roster. Um, Otis is kind of interesting for me because he was the free one recently. You can load him. He also gets X breaks, so he can cover X breaks. He also um, chooses some purples on his blast gems on his finisher. He can leave um, a lot of blast gems and stuff, so uh, chaotic powerhouse. I actually personally like Otis a little bit more, um, although I do think Veer's a little bit more flexible as far as what he can do there, but I like the 6 MP charge on Otis, so that's prob- I mean, Hall of Fame Andre with Jip Plate is definitely better, but that's without saying. Um, that's probably where he fits in, and I just think Powerhouse is really loaded, and a lot of people have some of that, right? Or a lot of those. Um, so, you know, he's good, he's strong, he doesn't blow me away. The trainer's okay, maybe not as good as, uh, as you think so far. Um, so yeah, I guess pending is six star stun. If it's like really cheap stun in two turns, that makes things more interesting. Or if you like stun gameplay, um, there's that too. Otherwise, you know, I prefer Seth, Taker, KO, and Mutant Ray, and Stay Puffed for sure, right? And some other others that are pretty close. That's where I think he fits in. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoy this video. Enjoy your time with Veer. Remember to like, subscribe, and share as that really helps me out. Other than that, thanks for watching and good luck out there. Trish says hi YouTube, because I did record this one live on Twitch, which is different than normal.